Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this um, video we're going to talk about organizing data that's been in Likert type scales and organizing it ready for Fathom or Excel to draw box plots, histograms or scatter plots. So here we have our homework survey which our school completed and you'll see here that we've got uh, uh, demographics in a categorical variable what grade they are in, so grade 10, 11. The first question here is I try my best with my homework. The second one is I understand the purpose of my homework with a like it type scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree. So the first thing we're going to do is code it. Now notice that these first two questions um, and even the third question here, I find homework interesting, are all positive. So if I coded, for example, um, a strongly disagree as a one and a strongly agree as a five, that would make sense because a higher number is in the positive. Notice though that E my homework is too challenging, is in the negative. So we'd actually want strongly agree to be a one there. So we're going to have to be careful which direction our questions are in. But certainly the first three I'm going to do. Now I might make a mistake here. That might be deliberate, it might not. It's fine to experiment and play on an Excel and I would encourage you to make errors and see what happens and what have you. So the first thing I'm going to say to you is because you could make an error, is these are my raw results. So I'm actually going to click on the top left here, control C to select it all and paste everything in a new sheet so that if I mess up, I've got all my old data and I can go back. And that's really useful. OK, so let's get going. So I'm going to select the first three columns because I know they're all positive and I want strongly disagree to be <clears throat> um, a five. So I'm going to go to the find and replace thing. So that is, that is here, find and select. So I'm going to highlight the three columns, which are B, C, and D. So highlight the three columns. You'll see them, they're highlighted there. Go to find and select, and I want to choose replace. And I'm going to replace, I'm going to maybe do it wrong first. I'm going to play, replace the word agree um, with the number four, because strongly agree would be number five and let's just replace all and see what happens now you can see what's happened is it's done 2352 replacements but can you see this now says neither four or dis four that's because it's found the word agree and changed it and so this is really really not useful for us so we've got to think about the order we change things so it actually works so let's try again i'm going to highlight b c and D, which are all going positively, and I'm going to do find and select and replace. And this time, I'm actually going to do strongly disagree, because it will find exactly strongly disagree and replace it with a one. And I'll click on replace for all, and let's see if it works. And let's have a look. We'll find here some strongly disagrees to see if it works. So you can see here that we've got strongly disagrees here and they've changed to one. So this is working nicely. So the next thing I'll do is change strongly agree to a five. So here we go. I'm replacing strongly agree with a five. Let's replace all. And we can see that it's made lots of uh, changes. And if I just scroll right here, we can see that fives are appearing and no funny symbols. The next one to do is neither agree nor disagree. We don't want to do agree or disagree yet because if we do agree, then in the neither agree or disagree, it would change to neither a number or disagree. So think about the order you do it in. So I'm going to change agree, uh, neither agree or disagree. And I'm going to change that to a three. Uh, I need to highlight my three columns again and replace all. And we can see that that has worked nicely and the threes are appearing. So now we can do disagree, which would be a two. Replace all. And finally, agree. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? I messed up. Uh, disagree should be a four. So this is now a problem. So now I've got loads of twos in there that should be fours. So if I replace all my twos with fours that should fix that for me and it has so now i need to replace the agrees with twos 
and replace all. And there we have it. And so you should always check your data um, that it's got all numbers and everything in and all is good. So that's how to start sorting your data. Now for this one, um, your negative one, because this question is, if we just look at this question here, this question is, my homework is, let's just scroll up, apologies. My homework is too challenging. We need to reverse code this, okay? We need to reverse code this. So that's really important. So once you've got your data, then you're ready to put it into Fathom or Excel um, and draw your uh, box plots and histograms, which I'll show in another video.